XRP Ripple recently pumped over 100% to the upside. I am actually looking for a full retracement of this pump and a move to the downside. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the exact reasons why I'm looking for that move to the downside to come. The reasons why I was calling for a short, the importance of trading the charts, the technical analysis and not the news and exactly what I am looking for next to come on XRP Ripple. So I hope that you can enjoy this video. I hope that you can learn a lot from this video. And, uh, you know, if you made a mistake of longing the pump, you can understand why that mistake was made and, you know, learn so you do not make that mistake again, because it is a common pattern uh, for traders around the world to, you know, get excited on such moves to the upside, thinking it's going to get massive continuation and then, you know, getting wrecked and losing a lot of money when the expected from technical analysis happens and you retrace that move. So, yeah, this is going to be a good one. Hope that you enjoy and let's go into it. So, yeah, as mentioned, XRP back on the 13th of July, um, you know, had this really large, quick move to the upside. Uh, this was fueled uh, off the back of the court case. Okay, so there was a ongoing court case. This is not a fundamental video. Please do your own research for all that fundamentals. But for a brief overview, it was something like we had a court case. XRP won the court case. Big move to the upside. Okay, so when we look at the technical analysis, we saw a lovely move to the upside here. Okay, but all that done was end in a swing failure pattern, an SFP. You know, if you're a member of Chart Champions, <laughs> you will know this is one of our favorite trade setups in the world. It is extremely powerful. It has the best win rate, has the best invalidations, it just simply is extremely powerful. That happened on the BTC pair. And we also had a lovely swing failure pattern on the USDT pair, in case of the USD or the tether pair, we also had that swing failure pattern. So we've seen it on the USD pair and we've seen it on the BTC pair. Okay. So of course, what are the, what are the majority of the world, what are 95% of the world going to be thinking after seeing this lovely pump to the upside, you know, looking for that continuation, you know, going above a dollar, you know, a lot of people are euphoric. A lot of people are ultra bullish. They're reading the news. They've seen XRP has won a court case. They're seeing it's getting relisted on Coinbase. It's getting relisted on several exchanges. Everything's really positive in their eyes. Okay. And I honestly believe 95% of the world would have been thinking that, wow, this is really bullish. This is really good. I'm going to long here. You know, we're going above a dollar. This is the time. This is different for XRP. When we look at XRP historically, you know, this coin has fell dramatically, but this coin has a lot of bag holders. It has a lot of people that are very sure this is going to be the next big thing. And, you know, they are disappointed time and time and time and time again. But this time was different. It's won the court case. Um, and I, you know, I, I can empathize, empathize for those people. But unfortunately, you know, they've ignored the technical analysis. Um, and it was like I was showing in the Champions uh, live stream that I'd done back in, <laughs> you know, back in July, explaining after the, we had saw this pump why it was a short trade opportunity. We had saw the swing failure patterns. We had seen the bearishness. We had uh, found this absolutely wonderful fractal, which gave us a retest of the high, not quite taken it out before the decline. So we were looking for the shorts against the BTC pair, a shorts where I trade on the tether pair over on Bybit. So I was ready for this short trade. I knew the reasons behind the short trade, it lining up on the tether pair, it lining up on the BTC pair. You know, it's all lining up together to give this very nice entry on a time where the majority of the world, right, are going to be feeling very bullish indeed. Um, you know, we've just seen a 100% pump. We've just seen a load of euphoria. We've just seen very good news. Uh, but, you know, the technical analysis was the only actionable trade set I'm given was a short. You know, I've said to my team, ignore the news, ignore the euphoria, trade the charts. And that is the only trade we have is a short trade. And, you know, what a short trade <laughs> That was, as we see a month later, uh, a drop of 32% and ongoing. So, you know, at this moment in time, I'm just trying to educate you here of please ignore the news, ignore the euphoria, trade the charts. OK, show me the chart and I'll tell you the news. OK, we don't need to be listening to news. We just can focus on what's in front of us. And that is the data and the information to give us actionable trade setups. 
So that fractal that I took was off of this information. Here we can see another large move to the upside, decline, retest, decline. So what was I looking for? The same, right? Large move to the upside, decline, retest, decline. Okay, and we can see how that in the end, even if we come down onto the USD pair or on the UBTC pair, lower term timeframes, we can see how we got that large move to the upside, decline, retest. Well, here we are on that decline. What I want to show you here is how perfect the CC retest was here. This is on Bybit, and we can actually see here how we got that decline, retesting the CC, the top of the CC absolutely perfectly there. That was just pinpoint. And, you know, this is again why some people say, why do I use uh, the dot six six over the dot six five? Well, you know, in front of you is another example of it's for me more accurate. And these small little differences um, really can make a big difference. OK, so here we saw the, the rejection of the SFP. OK, rejection of the SFP. We're looking for the retest. That's where we got our short invalidation is above the high looking for the decline on the BTC pair and similarly on the uh, USD or, or tether pair, right? Following along with that fractal. And, you know, here we can see how this is progressing very nicely indeed. Um, so now I want to be explaining to you what we can be looking for next. Okay. So I've explained everything in this section of the chart and why in the time live before the drop, I was explaining why it was a short trade. From here, myself and the champion members that followed along with this call will be at least 30% in profit. That is an extremely big profit. Uh, no leverage necessary to gain 30% in one month. This is a very, very, very profitable trade setup that was given to the champion members. Okay. Uh, so from here, we've now, as mentioned, right, from the CC retest to here, around 30, 32%, right? So what am I looking for next then? Well, naturally, what we can be looking at is a few different really big levels in mind. So if we come up to the daily here, we can see how we had this double high, liquidity grab, CC retest. Now we're coming back down to test the old range highs here, okay? So what I like to do in this instance is pull a fixed range from this area of the start of the range to current prices. We could include from the old wick low back in December 21, but you can see the values, okay, are extremely similar. You know, we got a slight difference on the value area high, but the point of control, okay, is in the exact same place. So that's the main thing here. So in my opinion, what we'd be looking for next is a really continuation to the downside here. Okay. We can be looking for the retest of support from old resistance. So we got this theory in trading that old resistance when broken can flip into support combined with the value area high. Okay. This is the tether pair. So if we look at the tether pair, this is around another 10, 20% move to the downside. Let's look at the BTC pair. We can see on the BTC pair, we're going to pull the same fixed range, right? So I'm actually going to pull, I'm going to put this on auto. I'm going to zoom out. We could have two ranges here, right? So the, the first very large one, which I'm not going to be looking at here, and we can look at more of a local range. So from the overall low here that we have from 2022 to current prices, you can see that point of control sits down at around 20% to the downside. So they're lining up very nicely. So what the theory that I'd be using here is it's very likely for Tether to drop at least another 10 to 20% to the downside. So naturally, does that mean short right now? The answer is no. If you, if you really wanted to take the short trade on XRP, that's what the champions membership is for, right? This is where you get those alerts, um, you know, live in the time. YouTube videos, you know, you are getting delayed information, but this is just the, the free part of, you know, showing you what we offer within the group. Of course, I can throw in some nice tips and tricks alongside these free videos, but of course, this is not for trade signals, right? So if you, I, I, I still, though, saying that, believe we can drop another 10 to 20%, but I don't mean short now. You, you are a little bit late. We've already dropped 30% in profits from our trade entry. 
Okay, but that said, I do believe it's very likely and probable we're dropping further on XRP. And there, I would like to see the retests, okay, of the initial liquidity run down to the weekly or the value area high of retest, okay? And for me, it's always a level to level game. And that's why this short was so nice because we had no levels of support. It was a trade entry with very high potential returns because we have no support here. This move down on the retest offers a great entry in validation stop loss. And the reward is very large because we don't have to be locking in early take profits because there is simply no support here. This move up is so quick. Whenever we see a move up that's very quick, we form very little support on the way back down, okay? And this is, of course, very advantageous for short trades. So I will answer a question that many people be, might be thinking, and that is, what about if it reverses now? So I, yes, I'm looking for another 10 to 20% move to the downside, okay? Where then, yeah, we can look for a reversal. But what about if I'm wrong? What about if we reverse from here and we get a massive move to the upside? Well, then I would technically be wrong, right? Because I'm saying there's a very high probability I'm staying looking for lower prices. You know, then if we suddenly get a massive pump tomorrow, I was technically wrong on that trade. But this is the beauty of trading. I could be wrong on that trade, but that trade setup ended in profits. Why? Why could this be? Because there's no way that I'm going to put myself in a position or the champion members in a position where they're in 30% in profits and that can end in a losing trade. It's just not possible. Why? Because at this point, stop loss can be moved into profits. So that original trade entry of that stop loss above the high, that stop loss can now be moved down into profits, right? Of course, we can also lock in a take profit one, okay? And in my opinion, the take profit one was actually locked in when you took out this low. Okay, so this was around the start of the month. And you can see that take profit one from entry to that was around 22%. You lock in the take profit one, you can move stop loss to profits or entry. Okay, and remain looking for lower prices. Then if we are kind of like incorrect on the short and it does pump from here, well, we've already profited on that trade. The funding rates getting paid every day, which is also a profitable funding rate right now. You're getting, um, you know, guaranteed profits. Like whatever happens next, you have guaranteed yourself that profitable trade setup. So that's one thing that I always try and, you know, remind my team, lock in that take profit one, adjust the stop loss. Then you are in this position where you profit whatever happens next. And that's always, it's always a very nice position to be in. Of course, we can actually look for a little bit of a move to the upside because when we do uh, follow the fractal. Okay, we can see the fractal does offer a little bit of a move upwards here. So when we pull this fractal, we can see, you know, it follows along very nicely. Move up, move up, retest here. Just look at this. We got even the slow drag down around the end of July, start of August. We got this wick to the upside here. You got a bit of a wick to the upside. And now we've got this continuation down through the middle to end of August. That did end with a little bit of a move to the upside, right? Retesting previous highs before continuation down. Okay, so we pull another CC here from high to low. We can absolutely be looking for these highs to be taken out into the CC before another move to complete the full reversal. So that is something that I would be aware of. Yes, we can look to take advantage of moves up just as we can look to take advantage of the moves down. Okay, at the end of the day, I remind you, massive euphoria on the pump. Everybody's bullish. Everybody's looking for higher. What do they forget? The technical analysis swing failure pattern on both pairs. For me, this is lovely confluence. We're getting retests. We got the fractals going on. We got the bearishness. We got the euphoria, which in my opinion is like a market maker idea. Um, you know, lines up into trade the charts, right? Trade the charts. That's what we teach you every single day of the week. <laughs> From here, we've seen 30% move down. I'm looking for lower. I've explained the reasons why. I've explained how we can be looking next on the fractal for a potential move up before continuation down. And, you know, I've given you a lot of insights here. Uh, trade theory, and what I'm looking at next. I will say this, if you've enjoyed this video, 
you know this is just a very small glimpse of what we offer every single day within the champions package right so uh, we got daily live stream updates every day you get live stream updates every day you get the daily sheet update we got all the levels for the bitcoin for the stock market we got daily live stream updates uh, we got weekly altcoin updates for you today we've just had our weekly altcoin updates so if you want all those altcoin setups you know where to get them um of course in that we have the whole course from beginner to master elliot waves to you know the, the beginner uh trading psychology theories we got the speed runs we got the templates we got the cheat sheets um basically we offer all this as well as you know updates within the discord so if you are a trader that's uh beginning whether you are an intermediate trader that's struggling to be profitable maybe you find yourself you know, playing with the euphoria and looking to long on the moves up and short on the moves down. And you are just stuck in this cycle of losing trades, you know, whether you're just lacking confidence, losing trades, looking for some guidance, uh, looking for some education and, uh, you know, a place to come to take this seriously. Well, that's a place that you can call home over at Chart Champions, right? We've got all the education. We've got the setups. We've got the theory. And, uh, you know, you've got the top quality coaches to guide you along the way. So if that's of interest to you, you can get all of that over at chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. Smash the likes, drop a comment down below. And if this is well received, I'll do another update for you on Bitcoin, because that is another asset that is very interesting right now after its recent volatility to the downside. See if we get an SFP or DSFP, right? Um, but yeah, if you would like that, you know what to do. Hit the comments, hit the like button, and I'll bring you a Bitcoin analysis. If you want it sooner, well, you know where to get it. Literally already had the live stream today covering Bitcoin. We'll have another live stream tomorrow covering Bitcoin. Every day you get a live stream covering Bitcoin, right? So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And I'll see you over on the website. Cheers and goodbye.